But Colleen did say recently that she would love to have a little girl to complete their little family unit. Do, do you think that deep down parents do have a preference over whether they have a girl or a boy? Well, I'll be honest, I, every single time anybody asked me, I did the proper grown-up <laughs> okay. line, just as long as it's healthy. Yeah. But inside, I was going, give me a girl! I want a girl! I want a girl more than anything in the world! I must have a girl! I was desperate to have a girl. Why don't you want Both a boy? <laughs> I don't really like men that much. <laughs> Honest. I'm not that... I mean, I love my husband. I love men in that way, but I don't really want to spend that much time with them. They don't... I, I want those conversations that I'm now having with my daughters. You know, I've yeah. got two of my own and two stepdaughters, and we will spend hours round the kitchen table chatting about everything, and I just know I wouldn't oh. get that same thing. You might. Because, you might. If you bring boys... up a boy in that yeah. way, yeah, but... isn't the problem that a lot of people bring up boys in the way that they think boys should be brought yeah. up, i.e., you know, rugby and not talking very much and... Yeah, but what if they liked rugby anyway? Even if I did everything to try and make them not like rugby, <laughs> what if they did and then I'd be all Saturday, I'd pass fields and I'd see these women with boys, like, standing on the field doing this, I'm like, oh, I almost want to weep for them. What? Your life is so <laughs> awful! I must admit, I was really relieved when Finlay, my son, who's now 14, when, obviously, we, we tried a bit of everything sports-wise. Oh, there he... I think he was about 10 oh. then. He's a, he's a He's taller than me and shaves now. That, that's what he's like. <laughs> but when he started playing football at school, I was so relieved when he actually didn't like it because just yeah. even a couple of Saturdays standing in the rain going, yay! Oh, no, well, that, that, really was, that was my worry because I was thinking, if I have a boy, I'll try and make him not a boy. You know, I'll try and do everything. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, like, I, when I, 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 said, when I wanted a dog and I went one that didn't smell and one that didn't go in the mud and one that didn't... It was like, you don't really want a dog. But the same thing with the boy. I, 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 spend, I spend every weekend driving around sports fixtures, but it's I've got daughters. But that's yeah, your my own fault. Yeah. Should have made you like ballet. <laughs> my youngest <laughs> daughter's really magazine. good at sport. You know, girls can be good at sport too. As well. Controversial. <laughs> I don't want them to be. <laughs> but um, I, I think, yeah, I mean, I've only got girls. Uh, I think if you said magic wands, you could, if you were to have another child, if I had three, I've got two, that, that's my stepdaughter in the middle, and my Aww. daughter, and then I've got another daughter who's 12. Um, and if I, if someone said, right, I've got one more, one more child, I'd say, yeah, I'd love, I'd love to have a boy, just to sort of Balance see what it, out. see what yeah. it's like, yeah, exactly. to see what it's like. I, I would, I, I always knew, even before I was pregnant, I was going to have a girl. That was always my destination. It was going to be a girl, no matter what, I was going to have a girl. And I did have a girl, and she's the most wonderful girl that's oh, ever existed. That's a beautiful, beautiful picture, Isn't Sherry. Is it right, though, that, that were you saying girl. to me that it's a man who determines the gender yes, of the baby? Yes, it's a yeah. man who determines did the gender. Did you that, So Sherry? a man... A man Probably not. A man I can't believe that. A man vaguely. <laughs> a, a husband gives the girls, the wife gives the boys. So if you're a strong woman, you're going to have lots of boys. That's, that's the theory. But then you well, see... Well, I should have all boys, then. Well, yeah. yeah. So, but then I had grandchildren and I've got a little girl and a little boy. And Oliver, who's like having, you know, because he, he... Oh! Oh! Oh, look at them. And he <laughs> stays with me, he, you know, he stays with me in my house, he's gorgeous. But when I had him as a little baby, it was the, the willy thing that did it. <laughs> you, know, when you have a little girl and you change the nappy and you change the nappy of a boy and... <laughs> do you know how, uh, that's, I do know what you uh, mean. That is yeah. extraordinary. Yeah. And you go, what was that? <laughs> and then you realise... The you learn you have to change a nappy like that. We grew up, me and my sisters, knowing that my mum had only wanted boys. She wanted three boys. Well, I was really? supposed to be yeah. an Andrew. She, Weird. And I'm an oh, Andrea, really? yeah, because they, they couldn't think of anything else when so, I came out and I wasn't a boy. My dad had little football booties and everything all set up, and I can remember <laughs> he used to try and teach me football and, and all that sort of thing. And when I was about 13, I can remember playing football with him, he went, Andrea, you run like a girl! <laughs> Matters, does it? I mean, I, I would have liked both. You know, yeah. I, I would have had a boy I've and a got girl. A theory, though. Well, actually, it's Mark's theory, but I've you love it. what you get. But, but yeah. he, he says that w there's a very 
but women that get boys are a very particular kind of woman. And I think, I'm amazed you haven't got like 10 boys. <laughs> That you're like driving around in a truck, <laughs> well, like looking out of the so field. That series I'm driving around in a truck. It's just with a load of I girls. I think you're going to have loads of grandsons. That's what I reckon. Oh, Possibly. Yeah. Yes. Well, we've had loads of comments on this, as you might imagine. Lisa, we have two gorgeous boys, and have never been bothered about having a girl. What bothered me was people's insensitive comments when we had our second son. You must be disappointed. <gasps> oh, what a shame. Um, I love this one. I've never heard of this. Chrissy, my husband and I are expecting our first baby in May. We've decided to throw a gender reveal party this Saturday. Today. When I went for my 20 week scan, the midwife wrote down the gender, put it in an envelope. We gave this to our cake maker who's making us a cake that will be covered in white icing and will either be pink or blue as we cut into it to reveal to our friends oh. and family. Oh. So does that mean the it's cake maker knows before they do? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like that's, a, that's, that's a bit, a bit strange. strange. Celine will keep on having babies a la posh. Well, I she think she'll try again. I think she'll try again. Yeah, she might. 